here, and I don't still don't think I'm getting sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's just wondering what I'm going to wake up to, though. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy to say this, but just watching these videos of these drones getting smacked out of the sky, like every time one of them gets smacked out of the sky, the price goes up a little bit. I'm not saying there's any score. Ping, 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 ping. There's no causation, but I mean, watching it is kind of crazy. And I guess it makes sense, right? The more you see Israel able to defend themselves, the the more the fear is kind of going to subside. Well, let me know when the Etta Cruz... Oh, that's what that... That's Jones getting shot out of the sky? Okay. Yeah. Oh, boom. In, one. in the videos, every time you see, like, an explosion in the sky, it's it's them shooting them shits out. I, I didn't know what that was. I just don't... <laughs> I mean, and U.S. will supply infinite amounts of ammo for that, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll do anything at this point except put boots on the ground. Unless it gets, you know, yeah, unless shit starts connecting. But with American soldiers are not touching down in Iran to go stop the missiles from, you know, that's, you're talking World War Three type of vibes at that point. The the problem is that they're not just worried about Iran, right? They're worried about an incursion from Syria, like a multi multi pronged attack sort of sort of deal. That's when we'll get boots on the ground, and they'll probably be at the border of Syria. But Yemen's already lobbing fucking drones up. Iran's lobbing drones up. It's going to become a coalition thing here. Yeah, the whole region gonna get together. There, all these Islamic nations against Israel. So, let's see how the big guys are playing it. Let's let's put let's put the shoe on the other foot. If they hadn't done anything, you know what I mean. Like, at what point do you step in? Same with the U.S. There's a point yeah. where we will step in. There's a point for them where they. I'm sure probably weren't excited about having to step in and deal with the U.S. and deal with them. But, you know, you pull somebody's card and they react on both sides. Sticky situation, bro. Yep. Super sticky. It's written in the scriptures. Yeah, that's, that's another part of it. When you got a whole sect of people that are welcoming this because it's supposed to be some sign of like ugh, that's when you get into like madness. No judgment, but I just try try my best to keep neutral out of all of this really. Yeah, I mean, it's not really difficult as long as you just see everybody as human, right? If you just remove all the, you know, the religious shit, you remove all the... But the problem is that to truly understand their motivations, you have to, you have to understand that aspect of it as well. You're going to be missing part of the plot. Yeah. I think at this point we can all agree that genocide is bad. I hope that we're at a point where we can still all agree that. Oh dear. Yep. You know how sometimes the teacher steps in and goes, okay, we need to separate you two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, I hate to oversimplify it, but 
fuck if somebody doesn't just step in and put some separation in here like you know this thing isn't gonna figure itself out man both sides are fully committed and understandably on both sides if you look if you look at it you know from both sides we can argue about who started what but we are where we are What if I had the answer for these things? I wouldn't be sitting here trading. What news channel do you um, go by? Uh, the block, like CNN or Fox? I, I have everything up. To be honest with you, I I can't do Fox. I just I can't deal with some of the like the pageantry. Um, but I do watch both left wing and right wing sources, and I do like to get a, a lot of my shit just off the wire. You know what I mean? Just straight off the wire. You know, all these news services are doing are getting the AP wire, getting Reuters wire, and then they're just putting their spin on it. But I don't think that we should cut them off because we know they're spinning us. Because I think it's important to know what they're trying to, what spin they're trying to give you. Like there's info, there's data, and all that. There's value and all of that. You just have to know that you're being spun. Yeah. You know. I'm quite fortunate here that I get I get all the US stuff. Drop a little bit more here and test this 50 on the one minute. And then that'll be our next little piece of data on momentum here. Yeah, I mean, at this point, even Twitter's a damn news source. You know, and when wars and shit, when wars and shit like this happen, things like TikTok, anywhere that people can live stream, Twitch, you know, go get it from the horse's mouth. Guarantee you right now, there's plenty of people in Israel live streaming on Twitch with their cameras pointed at the sky, giving play-by-plays. And then you take all of that data and you run it through the common sense that, you know what I mean, that you've developed in all your years of living and your experience. And then you come up with what you think is going on. And that's the best any of us could do, though. Yeah, shit. We put YouTube in charge of uh, in charge of war updates. You guys didn't think you're just gonna get a free ride forever, right? Y'all gotta work. Let me put y'all to work too. With the amount of eyes and ears that we have in here, we should have an edge on everything. Straight up. We've got enough people here where we can have our eyes all over the place. Yeah.
Yeah, I always have Al Jazeera on whenever there's any sort of worship going on. I like Al Jazeera. It's one of the best. <laughs> For you, now, you, I think that's the most accurate news. And Eon used to be. I don't know how it is now. Bro, if you think you know how much shit you're missing out on on American news, just go watch Al Jazeera for an hour or two. And just have them side by side. Like, have CNN and Al Jazeera next to each other. And just compare headlines and compare videos. Not saying either one, one can be trusted more than the other, but you want a complete scope. I'll do that, because I get Al Jazeera. Yeah, it's crazy. The differences are nuts sometimes. It's a channel that I've never never watched. There isn't a lot of um, news agencies that have reporters on the ground in these areas that can get the access that Al Jazeera reporters can get, you know, obviously, because they're from the region. Yeah, some people think it's all... Some people think... Yeah, some people think it's all propaganda, but... You know, what do you think our news is? Oh, now that you talk about uni, let me see what Unibot is doing. Look at Unibot up 7%. Okay. All right. Not amazing, but I'll take it. So that cell wall that we had at 655 has moved up now to 665. There's about 400 Bitcoin for sale. And then our, our lowest buy wall is at 6450. There is about 200 Bitcoin. Orders for about 200 Bitcoin there. Those are the major resistances that we have as far as the order book goes. Let's turn these vector candles on now that we've got a little bit more. Good beam of 12 percent in the last hour. 12 and a half yeah. in the last hour. Beam was a great yeah. buy. Yeah, Celestia, Celestia Beam, those are two of the most in the last hour. Jasmine. Now, remember that, because when Bitcoin turns around and does its thing, mm -hmm. starts breaking resistances to the top side, they're going to... Oh. I keep forgetting about Nervous Network, man. That thing has been so bullish, and I, every dip I forget about it. <laughs> CKB. I'm writing these down right now. I'm going to stick Somebody brought that up. Somebody brought that up earlier in the chat, actually. All right, so we turn the vector candles on. We see what happened here, right? Two green vectors into the 800. Full recovery of the vectors. And now we're testing, uh, testing retail's appetite to buy. Building a nice, you know, you know how it goes. Building a nice bull flag at resistance. Try to tempt buyers. This evening's low renders up nineteen percent. I'm going to alter off and run them. Let's see what the top 100 looks like. Tau is another one that you get a dip like that, man. You're going to grab that opportunity. Tau. God. Tau on the. Yeah, Tau never yeah. dips. Yep. Tau was heading on the way up. Yeah. I I'm, I'm broke all these down, man. Jasmine's a must have another dip like that, man. 
The weekend's yeah. not over. We'll get another I'm, dip. Ando and Tia are the only things in the top 100 that are green for the day, and they're both up 14%. Definitely make mental notes of that. I think there will be another dip. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think it's over, but I think that we'll put enough distance between here and there. The problem is that the next time we dip down there, we're going to get the same amount of panic. I Have really, really like want to work on... Nah. Uh-uh. I, I like hardcore TA or nothing else. I've been bullish for a while, man. Nervous network. I know jack shit about it. I know it's always on the way on the leaderboard. Well, I'll be well stocked up with the dry powder, even if I have to hand deliver it myself to Binance. Oh, IDF spokesman about to make a press statement? Yeah, let me pull that up. That's a big deal. This is going to be like a... This is going to be like Powell. If he gets up there talking tough, this is going to get him. You're in front here because I've not got that yet. Iran, Israel suspends activities. White House on high alert. White House on high alert. Oh, God. What what you want to hear is Israel come out right now and show remorse for the bombing, understanding for for the retaliation. What channel are you watching? And like dove it out. No, I'm looking for it right now. Somebody on YouTube just said that the IDF spokesman was about to make a, a statement, so I'm Googling it to see if I can find it live. Yeah, IDF I agree spokesman. with you, Dirty Block. That's, that's the correct way to do it, yeah. Yeah. You, you've got to take it on the chin, man. You guys fucked up. Don't escalate. You know, don't use this opportunity. Prove to me that I'm wrong about you using this to get us into a war and, you know. Yeah, you're on the money there. I know he spoke 12 hours ago. Idea of spokesman. Let's speak again. That's the Israeli Defense Force. So that'll be basically Israel's reaction to this. The first that we hear about, you know, what they're... How they're taking this. Not that they've been known to overreact or anything. In that retest, yeah, he's speaking now. Let me see what he's talking about. Where did you find it on YouTube? Sky News has it last. He's talking to us.
It's actually not that bad. Hold on. The prime minister's aircraft is up in the air, so the president's in the air. That means they're worried about targeted attacks. Yeah, I just got that. They just asked if they're going to have any preventative measures against Iran, and they said that they'd do whatever's necessary to protect Israel. Wow. He said he's not going to give away any operational information, but that they're willing to do whatever it takes. Exactly. And a lot of freaking drones are dropping right now, looking at Al Jazeera live. In unbelievable. They're knocking them out, though. So far, so good. I'm switching over. Yeah, it's the dumbest shit ever, Rob. I know. Things used to be a secret before. <laughs> but there's always somebody watching that presidential jet, and there's always some reporter at the airport. Mm -hmm. All right, so we broke underneath the 50 on the um on the one minute, but we did eat up that bit pretty quickly. We're back above the 50 now on Bitcoin. The future walls are probably the old robots. Those drones he softened of a person. That's a good thing, you know. He he softened up at the end, um, but he started off kind of. Yeah. Prime Minister said, "I condemn the strongest terms. The Iran's a region strikes risk inflaming tensions, destabilizing the region. Iran has once again demonstrated that its intent is sowing chaos." That's just the uh, Prime Minister talking to us. Everybody needs to relax, bro. Everybody needs to just smoke one and chill out. Sometimes you need a good friend. Like, a good friend keeps people out of so much shit. Like, a good friend, when you're bugging out, they could tap you on the shoulder and be like, hey, you did bomb their consulate, though, bro. Like, you gotta relax. Yeah, chill. Dumb butt. You just fucked the embassy. Like, fucking hell. Yeah, I'm on Al Jazeera now. Bloody hell, there's a, there's a lot more on, on it here now. Yeah, man. We can talk about all this, and I had two planes just really fly down. Oh, no, man. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. the one luxury that americans have is that these things are far and there's a massive shield protecting us from any of that which is why september 11th was such a big deal right because it's like nobody, nobody thought it was possible to get hit like that no buddy they're not planes they're your gummies airdrops gummies yeah, don't forget about your gummies. Don't let this distract you from your gummy, 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 gummy. gummy, 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 gummy accumulation. Even Israel are getting airdrops right now. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> They're getting rewarded for b destroying their embassy. Some weakness here trying to get back over this um this 50 EMA.
Ah, uh, too soon, bro. We got to save the Rockets, Rockets, Rockets for another day, bro. Even if we do go parabolic, I might lay off of that one. I'm so upset about my freaking grass node. You still can't get it running? No, there's no way around it. I know. I seen a few things on Reddit, and there's no way around it. They said once that happens, you're screwed. It has something to do with the Wi the Wi-Fi IP address because they change or something with. I, don't know. I can start over. <laughs> Yeah, there's no way to delete a network like since just God. I guess they're working on something, but they've been working on something for like a month. God, my head's so bad. Just that one because that one showing up not connected that doesn't make no sense. Should have run off the other one. If Bitcoin and Doge can get over this gap in liquidations right here, this shit's going to short squeeze. But we got to get over that gap. Go ahead, D-Black. Send it. I don't know. <laughs> Not I. We're waiting. <laughs> Now, we just need the the bears will get happy here. The bears are the longer that we kind of stall out here, the bears are gonna start going nuts on these shorts. And that'll give us the fuel that we need. It's not like we're on the verge of World War Three, and anything could change at a second's notice or anything, no. Maybe the best day to be making predictions. Yeah, I'm looking at um, uh, real-time live footage from people that live there. Yeah, I'm kind of flipping through a couple of live streams, too. If we can't hold this on, um, 
we can't get above this resistance. <clears throat> the 200 is sitting at 639. Probably be closer to like 64 something by the time we pop down there. So that would be the next move down. But we're stuck in this field. There we go. Come on. Just got to absorb these buys there. Yeah, I'm going to be looking at oil in the morning. That's a fact. Luckily, I was already short oil, but not a big enough position for what's going on. Seventy additional missiles. The United States vows ironclad commitment to Israel's security. Yeah, that's crazy. You're a spoiled child. Do whatever you like. I'll keep protecting you. Iran, uh, well, yeah, you're trying to protect yourself, but shut up. This could be all night long. This you don't know how many um, near the, the, the drones are, are up in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here drops takes a while sometimes. The Brits just scrambled jets to assist Israel to defend against the drones. I wonder if it's a thing like a two hundred dollar drone versus a ten thousand dollar missile though. It is there. It's a crap shoot up there, bro. They're just fucking dinging these things out of the sky. Got to be a bit, okay, let's take the war aspect out of it. Put yourself in the place of a fighter pilot, right? That's been waiting on ready forever for some action. And then this is the mission you get to go up there and just snipe these things. That's got to be fun, though. That's like a side mission on the game. Ooh, wow. A lot of shit going on behind the scene, man. That it's hard to know because freaking Russians might be supporting Iranians as well now. Well, so, maybe they are. Oh yeah, true. Of course. Of course. Yeah, I think that's where they got their zones from, uh, drones from. It's one of the few yeah. friends they have left in the world. Yeah. <laughs> And Russia, of course, they are pissed off against us, against the United States, against Europe. And, and China's financing the whole thing by buying Russian oil. Hard yeah. line. Yeah. And that's why the big boys, they may know sometime that where it's going, but man, it may blow up badly. Let's just put it like this. This isn't World War Three. But we all know the lines are drawn already. We know who's on what side. Yeah, and it can lead us. Whenever, to whenever we have this third war, we know exactly what you know who's going to be where. Oh yeah. So that's the problem. These greedy son of a bitches. These leaders. They think that nobody wins in a war. It's destruction all over. Nah, it's a hell for both sides. 
and then there's China. Somebody's got a uh, TV in the background. Yeah, I do actually. Sorry, I'll t I'll take I'll. Yeah, China. China is like a like a snake, like a snake under the rock, waiting for the right opportunity. They hate us to the gut too. Yeah, man, I know. Yeah. It's a cycle of things, man. Empires rise and they fall, and other ones take their place. Dang, so many planes going to be canceled now. It's a short day airplane stocks. <laughs> Too bad is markets closed. <laughs> uh, look into automated air defense contractors. Which we're going to be looking at right now. They're gonna need to replenish those those uh that iron dome. Every one of those drones goes through out of the sky is a fucking missile that needs to be replaced. An item that needs to be replaced, an order that needs to be made. Yeah, and if the war gonna kick in oil as well. Yeah. Yeah, I see YouTube talking about black swans. Like, you know, I, technically you can't even really call this a black swan event because it's not like it wasn't. Or black no. swan events are, un are unpredictable. They're events that nobody, no matter how into a certain sector they are, can see coming. Uh, definitely, we don't want that. Oof. Yeah, there's been wars and rumors of wars, and the second the second that that Iranian consulate got hit, it was you know it should have been pretty obvious that there was going to be some sort of retaliation. It said here that Iraq has closed its airspace amid Iran launching drones. Well, I didn't think they'd have a choice. <laughs> nah, but what they mean is if they close the first person, somebody's got to open my door. Yeah, it's a long way round. <laughs> yeah, it's a long way round. 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 I mean, that's the definition of a black swan event, Oliver. It's an unpredictable event. Uh, unpredictable event. We might not have the data or the insights that have been able to predict this, but there are people on the planet that knew this was coming. Yeah, it's right. I would say... Um, Putin going into Russia is also another another example of what people call a black swan event that really isn't. COVID is probably the closest thing to a black swan event that we've had, but if you're an immunologist or if you were somebody that's dealt with infectious diseases or coronaviruses before, you'd probably argue that point too. Now, I'll tell you what a black swan event during COVID was, was the world shutting down. Nobody could have predicted that. The reaction that we had to it was a thousand percent of Black Swan event. Fucking wild animals in the streets of major cities and shit. That's Black Swan event. But for crypto terms, 
you know, for all intents and purposes, yeah, this will be, you know, I can understand why people come on something like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing similar about, about Black Swan events except for the fact that they're unpredictable. You can't predict which Black, which Swan is going to be born Black. It's an unpredictable event. It's a very rare, very seldom unpredictable event. It's where the word comes from. So every war is a, a black swan event, or every attack. You know, I would argue maybe the maybe the initial attack, where um, you know, they floated in on where they paraglided into Israel, and you know that type of stuff. Yeah, unless you were in the planning, unless you were like in the planning phases or something, you kind of predicted something like that. So unfortunate if it gets any worse than this, really. Yeah. Now that we can talk about, Robert. Does it got to be a black swan event? Oh no, I thought we were agreeing. Yeah, I thought we were agreeing. All of you. You might have just been talking to somebody else, and I thought you were talking to me. Yeah, I definitely look at that. That's what we were just talking about earlier, the way that we had that Ukraine dip. And um, it's all it was all the same kind of rumblings that we have now, right? Because we expected this. Um, during the Ukraine dip, we expected things to escalate. We expected, you know, we were waiting for news of U.S. boots on the ground. We were waiting for our, our you know, the U.S. reaction to it and all of that. And then when we didn't, you know, when nothing really happened, well, the war kept going, right? And everybody on social media was like, save Ukraine. But in crypto, we just bought up the Bitcoin and kept it moving. Hey, D Block, is there any programs out there that you can look at monitoring networks if the status of the networks, if it's down or congested? Um, I haven't really found one that aggregates them, but that would be great. I'd love to have a dashboard, you know, up on a screen like that where I could see everything at once. You technically just have to go, each, each blockchain will have, you know, a page that you can go check for. For the health of their state, but yeah, I was just thinking, mate. Sol's really struggling at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's making no, I agree with you, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had to do something. That's why I was saying that they kind of forced their hand. And if Israel took this opportunity to understand that and understand that, I mean, I don't know the I don't know the extent of this attack yet. I'm hearing a bunch of slow ass moving drones. 
that Iran has to know that the Iron that the Iron Dome can defend against. I've heard a couple of cruise missiles in the air. I haven't really seen any confirmation of that. But it doesn't seem like a full-out, full-fledged attack to all of their capabilities. So that, to me, seems like somebody who's forced to react but doesn't want to poke the bear too much and be forced to kind of back it up. But as a military leader, you should understand that and see that and then maybe come on the news and not talk so tough. Because as soon as the IDF dude got off the screen, there's, you know, uh, reports of 70 more rockets leaving Iran. Yeah, I hear you, King of Queens. I was talking about that earlier. You know, this isn't necessarily horrible for the, the sitting president to be um, at war during an election. That usually fares well for the sitting president. Yeah, I agree with that. But I also agree that they can be goaded into a, a stronger attack. At the end of the day, it's all opportunistic behavior, man. You know? And people have made their beds and they have to lie in them, unfortunately, on both sides. But how many times has Iran called for the eradication of Israel as a people? But Israel knows that they can't handle Iran, so they need the United States. So it's opportunistic, you know what I mean? They're like, you use us for your proxy wars, now we're going to use you for a proxy war. You come in here and you handle those dudes for us. Get them out of the way. That's fucking hell. What's up, friend? That's the break of the 50 on the five minute. Let's see if you can hold prior resistance.
Yeah, this has got to be a simulation. <laughs> Why did they zoom in on the Iranian drones and there's white and there's a white light and a red light on each drone? Real stealth, guys. <laughs> you can see that shit with a a cell phone camera from the ground. They're just dinging across the sky with the little white and red lights and getting shot down like duck hunt. You're saying here that this is only the first stage of this escalation. I would imagine that's how I would do it. I told you I would do it. I would overwhelm that iron dome all night and then mid morning hit them with cruise missiles. It's possible. Yeah, it's possible, sis. There's got to be a reason, bro. There's, there's got to be a reason that they put lights on these things. Infrared makes sense. But they seem like really low-tech drones, man. I'm telling you, they're super, low fly, super slow flying. I think these things are just meant to fall out of the sky when they run out of batteries over Israel, wherever it happens to land. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Justin Trudeau <laughs> saying they support it. If Canada doesn't go sit down somewhere and mind their business. Well, at least I can be happy about a VART uh, airdrop. It says okay. reward dollar, though. Is the value zero? It's probably because it hasn't been listed yet. Oh. oh. Hello, how are you? It's been a while. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's good. I'm good. Uh, these alts wrecked me nicely. Oh, nice. Yeah, Mount Flung Swing is getting wiped out in like two days. Ah. I got two that survived. Oh, well. these all wiped out all 2024. 
Yeah. Bones, like. Six months of upward gone in two days. Yeah. A Cardano is almost at 40 cent. Well, Arbitrum went down to like uh, 90, I think. What else wrecked me? I don't know. So many things happened. Mantle is holding its ground, though. It's still above $1. It's a bit odd. Yeah, Atom also, it's not at 6, so I guess technically still in an uptrend since we're not at support. Are you gonna are you gonna go shopping now, as you see? On these dead buys? Uh I did already, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. That's good. I bought some but, uh, I, I'm a bit pissed at leverage right now, so instead of playing it on leverage, I mean I did re enter Bitcoin again. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, technically it is an ABC. Because on leverage we went down to fifty nine fifty nine eight fifty nine eight hundred. We didn't on spot though, but that's yeah, we'll see. You know, since uh seventy four K we have a down move to sixty K, up move to seventy two, and now down move to fifty nine eight. So, like, you know, I, I don't know about the war, but as long as we're above 60,500, uh, well, we might be in for at least a golden hit or, you know, return to average. Or uh, even, maybe even I'll try to ride it to new all-time high. I like that Sui buy though. I picked up some Sui and I picked up some Phantom on that dip. I saw Sui at one point, uh, uh, but uh, th things are going so quick down there. You have like two minutes to buy th stuff and. What not, uh, bro? I got off the Discord. <laughs> I got off YouTube. I got off Discord and I just started running down uh, the shop and I was with my hand out. Just filling. Yeah. Uh, I got wrecked so much on leverage right now. I'm like uh, trying. To, uh, I'm going into three X tokens. At least those uh, they'll, they'll survive a bit more. Ando so, did yeah. really well, and Tia did really well. Just heads up, it's showing a lot of relative strength against Bitcoin. Yeah, well, they'll just dump later, right? I feel like when we get these dips, the ones that do well are the ones that when Bitcoin really does well are going to shine because those are the ones that are a throwing relative strength. And like I said earlier, they, they still have a large mind share. Like those are the ones that people are excited about when they drop. Like that's where the money's flowing to. You know, tons yeah, but of people are filling up their Celestia stakes right now. Because if there's no dip to buy, it's not to have, to have one. I mean, if, to buy one. If there's no dip to buy on Ondo, it's not that interesting, though, no? Oh, well, no, the dip already. Uh, the dip can. But well, there'll be other dips. Not like I think that we hit bottom or anything. It's just a good song to DCA. Days like this, amazing DCA ranges. Touch. Yeah, some of the AI plays are good. AJ's got a nice bond. Dutch got a nice bond. That programmatic stable coin is. It's the first test uh, for me of that, pro, you know, uh, Etana stable coin. And it did deep egg a bit, but nothing too bad. Hmm. Yeah, 999. Nine 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 five, whatever. Nine nine nine. Uh, uh, you can't call that a deep egg, but you thought about you earlier when this shit was dipping. Somebody was like, "Where's Zeusy?" 
I was like, I'll do Zeusy for you. <laughs> like, you call this a dip? This one got it. Where do you see a dip? Well, that's the problem right now, right? It's on, on Bitcoin. Yeah, we dipped, okay, but, uh, you know, we, we had a fake out above the symmetrical triangle on the daily. So it, once you were back in that triangle, it kind of made sense to go to the support angle, uh, which, if you look on a four hour chart, we're actually holding. Uh, for now, at least. And now you know, we might get a fake out to the downside of that symmetrical triangle and I'll probably end up in the middle of it uh, eventually. Or, I mean, we'll see if the people selling because of news uh, is enough to make it drop um, a whole level. Yeah, you know, with, with Dixie so high and Bitcoin still very high, um, well, we're probably going to drop less than one might think. Uh, because it's already, it's al Dixie is already so high, like uh, how high can it go in case of a panic move because of Iran war? I guess we could get 110, but we're already above 106, so... Uh, Bitcoin is starting with a, from a good, good value point, it's potential dump. But for alt, it's a, it's a very different story. Yeah, because you haven't seen Bitcoin dominance. Uh, you know, I didn't we hit look, my but, 56, uh, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, we hit my 56, kind of, yeah. Like, before we came up the street. Some alts are down to 25%, Bitcoin, uh, so, yeah. yeah. They, they, they Bitcoin did three... dominance. With Bitcoin dominance high and Bitcoin dropping, the alts get slaughtered. But that's okay because we needed that last push up, I believe, for dominance to be able to set us up for the um, all point season. What's the CME? Ooh, we have a big CME gap now, no? Like five, are we still 5% lower? We had just cleared last week. And now we're yeah, leaving uh, one. 65.3 was the lowest point, but market closed on a recovery at 67.5. So I guess at least 65,400 on CME to close that gap. Oh, we're missing $2,000, but it's going to be tomorrow. I still got four or five whitelist spots for that Chrono Forge Rift game. Um, the pass for the Rift token for the airdrop that I won on that. Um, basically, won the whitelist and they gave me 10 free slots to give out. So I've just been passing them out to anybody who messages me on Discord. 
it's free, it's gasless. You don't even need gas to mint it. And if you want to look up the project before doing it, it's called Chrono Forge. We got a big game coming out. I uh, just messaged you, D Block. You got an extra one? All right. Yeah. I got you. Give me a second. Appreciate it. How you doing today? Good, man. Can't complain. A lot of good dip buys. Not looking at the PNL for my long term holds. <laughs> Everything's great. <laughs> yeah, no, don't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta bite the bullet sometimes, man. You know, we we gotta hold for a year for tax purposes. So you're gonna go through some down trends on your long term bags. Just as long as your your short term scout bags don't go with it. Fine. Yeah. It's Call of Duty crypto. Yeah, basically. Send it to you. Let me know if it doesn't. Um, if it tells you that you're not whitelisted, let me know, and then I'll send. Because I think if somebody uses it already, it'll tell you you're not whitelisted. But I've got access. Okay. Is it the Ethereum network or what? What network? Which address? Um, it's uh immutable X. You just using your using your MetaMask. Well, I I just thought. Uh, it doesn't matter which, uh, like Ethereum or... Yeah, because it's not going to be a gas fee, but it's on the Immutable X network, so you'd have to just download that onto MetaMask to be able to see it. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Stay connected, thanks. No problem. You're able to sell them right away on uh NFT thing. I think it's like three or four bucks, so I'm holding on until they go up in value. Okay. Now what's the network I download? I'm sorry. Uh immutable X. The uh, for like the main net on MetaMask, yeah. yeah, yeah, immutable. You can see it right away, I believe, on that same page um, where you minted. If you click View and Token Trove, I think it takes you to your NFT. They're all the same, though. This is just an early access to the um, the airdrop and the, the thing that's coming out. Gotcha, yeah. I'm just trying to find the, the network. I... An ambulance went by whenever you said what it was. Immutable. Immutable. Yeah, immutable X. Network. It's a uh, immutable ZK EVM. It's a network. If you have to um, see if it if it lets you if it lets you onboard it if it's already built in. If not, I can give you the chain ID and the network URL and all that. Yeah, I think I'm spelling it wrong. If, if you send it over, that'd be awesome. If not, I can do some research right. and find it. I got you. Not a big deal. Have you added networks to uh, MetaMask before? I, I have. I, I just I'm, I suck at spelling, okay. so I'm sure I'm spelling no, 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 it. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm just sending you the information so you know what to do with it. If you have to add it, that's what they ask you for. 
network name, URL, chain ID. Okay. And then look into the project. It's actually pretty cool. The game looks actually kind of dope, actually. They're doing a lot behind the scenes, too. Got a nice amount of shorts starting to build up. I'm used to just keep repeating the same shit over and over. I've got it all added. Thanks a lot, D Block. Um, so, what did they give you airdrops and stuff on this? Yeah, there's supposed to be an airdrop for that Rift token. And then I think it's early access also to like the play to earn version of the game. And those are pretty lucrative sometimes, right? You can get in and start to just mess around and like, gather tokens that end up being worth a ton later if the game does well. That's cool. You have some kids or something that get downloaded on their iPad and send them away. Go make you some money. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Trying to, trying to earn all those sandwiches. Yeah, ga you know, Gala's being kind of, with that poker game, they're, they're being really stingy with the frigging Gala. How's that going? Listen, so it's, it's the returns have been less? Like they cut down? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the last one was like five gala, and then that was it. I haven't received, and I'm playing three accounts, so each week they do a, like the raffle thing, and I have a bunch of tickets and blah, 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 but I don't ever get anything. So. But it's the chips I'm winning is supposed to be able to transfer into something else later on so because you you keep your chips unless you you know just a lot of people go on there and just bet it all they'll like they'll no, that's, the first, that's first two so cards there's, are like, a point oh. system. there's a point system or if they let you hold chips or hold even if it's an in-game currency it usually ends up being even if they have loot boxes or something that you can buy later with the chips that end up having gala in them or something like that Exactly. That's that's what that's what they did with it. So. But it used to reset every day. Your chips would reset, but now they don't. They you accumulate them. So, I think some people are just blowing them, regardless. I guarantee you, I'm focused. Or... 
we'll be betting like 300,000, uh, you know, quote dollars. And, uh, like that's usually like a, a pretty big account and, uh, they'll have a pair of twos and you're going, what? <laughs> They're just sitting there trying to bluff you. Being home drunk, bluffing every hand. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the worst. You know? That's why I hate online. There's been times where I've got up off the poker table. Like I've been at the casino and somebody sits next to you and you're just like, nah, I'm not doing this. Nope. There's always the drunk guy. The drunk guy that's having the time of his life. Yeah. It's like either I'm going to sit here and fleece you or you're just going to drive me all crazy, like crazy all night with the wildest shit. Like that. Drunk the plus guys, so that's the best. You get the guy sitting next to you that's drunk, not let him be crying or something like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know, sense the same thing. No, you're gonna bid that guy up on everything, bro. He's gonna fold every hand. He's got zero confidence left in life. It's a press man. <laughs> He's just there to lose his money and go home. He's been trading uh, futures, so uh, yeah. He's 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 <laughs> he'll be about to win and he'll be like, oh, screw it, man. I'm gonna sell. Taking what I got. So is it Rift token that they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That should be the currency for the game, which is probably going to end up being the reward, you know, the real circular economy that they do in the games. Yeah, because it shows on there that uh, like automatic token detection is not available. So if they did airdrop me, unless I download the token it's not gonna or add the token it's not gonna tell me i have it yeah they haven't given too much information on what you're actually gonna get for it or how it's gonna work but th these are just one of those things that yeah when there's a white list and it's a pass during airdrop season do you want to get as many of these as possible yeah even if there's something to do after this, like even if they have a social campaign where you got to add your Twitter and likes and shit or whatever, having this card will be one of the prerequisites for getting the airdrop, most likely. And at that point, what you can do is you could either keep it and, you know, risk it on the airdrop or you can go on the NFT marketplace and see how much they've gone up. Because when people find out that you need this and they're no longer minting them and the whitelist is closed, and the only way they can get it is buying it from you. So sometimes the floor will go up on these things really high. Okay. is fast. Not only that, but that move protocol that they're running on is different, yeah. I think Phantom and Sui are going to have a crazy bull run. That that move protocol is going to end up being a narrative of its own. But we came back down and we retested that bear flag that we broke out of, right? We broke bullish out of that bear flag down at the bottom. And we came back and we retested that support resistance flip and it's holding for now. Currently. Yeah, there's a bunch of good buys out there right now. For example? Core. Core's way down. People were, people were tripping over themselves to buy Core when it was pumping. It's 60% down and nobody cares about it. 
and nobody even wants to no, look at it. Those people buying it at four dollars. I remember people buying at four dollars. Yeah, I remember that. Oh yeah, hell for us support. Yeah, and then Hex and Pond. They're they're both down. Quarter, quarter is down on the week. Where are we at? Core, core, core. Well over fifty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty percent. Fifty. They had a high of what? Four, 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 four fifty, four sixty. Yeah. Remember, I thought it was gonna go to five dollars. It never made it. No, it don't. <laughs> Yeah, now of course it was getting the Satoshi app was uh trending all day. Satoshi app and that, that has to do with core and everything. The Satoshi app that has airdrops and everything. Have you looked into that? No, I was looking on uh, yeah, actually. You looked into that Satoshi app? Yeah, I was looking into that earlier. I haven't downloaded it though. Somehow I have point and everything, but I can't I can't withdraw them or anything. Because uh, I'm in the United States. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of these things you can't, a lot of these things you can't be in the U.S. Like, it would make y'all mad if y'all realize how many opportunities you can't partake in because you live in the U.S. Oh, there was one I missed out on because of the freaking United States, man. It was like 10 grand I would have made. I'm like, what the fuck? I've, I've qualified for at least three airdrops, and then when I go to claim, they're like, "Your region." Fuck. Yeah, supported. Blah 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 blah. blah. Your if, if it was, I mean, yeah, if it was just that, free. if it was just that, it'd be fine. But they want to KYC you because I can VPN and claim my fucking airdrop, but they want to KYC you now, or they want you to, uh, they want you to have a Gitcoin passport which has your location on it. I'm actually checking on the app. Yeah, they got like Bitcoin miners and stuff on the Apple App Store. It's got to be a yeah, a lot of those shit. Yeah. 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 How dare a U.S. citizen try to get something for free? How dare us? <laughs> Land of the free. Land of the free, but nothing's true. I am happy about that B2 network, bro. That B squared that's coming out, that's just going to be fucking huge. And I got four miners for that off of that airdrop. I got two CPU miners and a GPU miner. You ordered miners for that? No, nah, you got them through the airdrop. They're like virtual miners that have a hash rate attached to them. So you don't even have to run the machines. That's insane. Yeah, and it's a, a BRC20, so it pays out in Bitcoin. You're just a researching machine. Yeah, I don't play around when it comes to opportunities, man. I know this four-year cycle, like the back of my hand, and this is the year, this year that we're in, is the, this and the year that we came from is the one where you really buckled down. As soon as the XRP fucking judgment came in, when the judge came on and said that what he said about airdrops, about that being, you know, leaning towards more of a non-security because of the airdrop and it wasn't any private sales and blah, blah, blah. I knew for a fact that every single project that didn't have a token yet was going to have airdrops because everybody wants to stay out of the way. You know, and as soon as there's even the semblance of a path where you can go and stay out of regulators' hair, everybody's going to go that route. But yeah, I, I doubled down and dug into the opportunities. A lot of bullshit out there, though. Like, for every 10 airdrops I found, three of them were worth it. Maybe. And I found some way to fucking stake my shit coins, which is so degen, bro. 
can't even tell you how deep one of this is black is shitcoins in fucking stake. Especially when it's paying out in another shitcoin. Okay. But so far, so good. And it's not, I'm not lying. It's liquid stake looks out the pull whenever. But yeah, those, I'm definitely pretty far on the, on the uh, 50 IQ scale of the market right now. Yeah, I hear you, sir. Free money is for the movies. Who wants that, right? Yeah. Some coins are making new new bear market bottom. Like Ape, uh, for example. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's got to be a couple, actually, now that you say it. But most of those were not even watching it anymore, right? Because they're so strict. If you're well, getting eight cents in the airdrop, did, you're doing the wrong airdrop. It's, it's the same as every shitcoin. It did 3x up from its bear market bottom, so... Hell yeah, they use it as advertising and they use it as transactions. They want active users on the network. I'm well aware of what projects get out of me doing airdrops. I don't care. But the difference is if you do airdrops for projects that you actually believe in, what you're getting is early allocations. It's the same as getting in on a private sale, it's just a smaller allocation. So if I'm already getting in on a private sale, and I'm already getting in on the seed round for um, on Seedify. Why not jump in and also get the free tokens on the airdrop when they're not even on DEXs yet? But not everybody's willing to put in the work. It is a lot of work. It might not be worth it when you think like man hours, but that shit is fun for me. And I was able to bring a lot of the free ones to the group for people who didn't really have enough money to, you know, feel comfortable going into the bull market. So that was cool. Well, the, the staking ones are most definitely worth it. The free airdrops... That's questionable. You really got to believe in that the project's going to do well to care about getting, you know, or you have to be in a position where, you know, you need the money or whatever. But the eigenlayer airdrops, and the, there's going to be some good five digit airdrops there for minimal effort. Just maybe, you know, 20 minutes of a day running through some transactions. And if you get into the node projects, then you're really starting to get into the higher five figure airdrops. So Core basically ate up that whole pump that it had almost. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, it's it's still very far from the beginning of its impulse. No, no, no. It's almost. Where the pump? Oh. The pump started all the way down there. A full retrace oh, would be to be at fifty cent. You know, if you go to fifty, sixty cent. Yeah. That's not where that started. Well, the impulse up started at uh, 57 cent, yeah. It went up to 4.3, and now we're, like, in the middle at 1.3. Don't look now, but we're about to squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Pop that zip. If it puts squeeze? a new bear market bottom, that could be a nice buy, uh, below 30 cent. Oh, yeah, that would be wonderful, 30 cents. I wouldn't even hesitate. Who thinks that, man? The bear market ended a long time ago. 
Now, somebody on Discord said, why do you think the bear market is ending after seven days? <laughs> is that the team's, uh, what's team's headline say? Oh, that's, that's probably what it is. I forget about the thumbnail. People come in and just ask me shit sometimes, and I think it has something to do with something that I just said, and I forget about the thumbnail. Yeah, I only brought it up because I remember Tame saying something about seven days because he forgot to log on or something. So seven days got added or taken away, something like that. Yeah, the stake and egg drops are much better for, for sure. But if you can get into the node ones, that's where really where it's at. You can get into these validators before anybody else. Especially if you're allowed to sell your validator at a later time. That's where I've made some really good money at. Learning nerd millionaire. <laughs> That'd be great. Can you imagine somebody learned and earned their way to a million dollars? Learned and earned and then traded what they got. You know what I mean? But didn't put any money in. Yeah, that's probably the best Coinbase commercial that there could ever be, bro, if somebody managed to do that. I can imagine if you've been learning and earning your way through the bear market right now, imagine it pretty much turned to something. I'm sorry about that, Moan. I'm kind of stuck with this accent, though. Oh, maybe it's my mic. All right. I'll be back.
not on. That should be better. Those Apple fucking AirPods are ass. The Discord. I was talking shit about my mic and you made Bitcoin go down. I hope you're happy with yourself. All that negativity just put water on the squeeze. Ah, you're bullshit. And those skull candies would probably sound better than those iPad than those uh AirPods did. Skull candies. What are those? Those cheap little Walmart uh earbuds. Like fake AirPods or something. Mm. Man, I got a nice pair of Steel Series today. Limited edition. Nice. That's what. That's not what you're talking on now, though, is it? No, I gotta wait for them to come in. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a big difference, bro. Yo, that's honestly, actually what. Skull... That's yeah. actually what Shiv was talking about when he said I used to have the best audio in Discord. It was those damn Still Series headphones. Mm -hmm. But ever since I got my new phone and I can't jack right into the phone, no diddy. It um hasn't been the same. I got a professional mic here. I got a broadcast mic and everything, but I just I get lazy. I got a nice road mic. And everyone hooked it up just for show. What's going on, Lee? Well, you can buy extra batteries for the Steel Series and everything. Yep. Everything is attachable. If something breaks, you can just get a replacement. Great. Yeah, the, the side pieces are all magnetic. So you can change them, get different colors, whatever you want. Good headphones. I like how the mic is uh, retractable. Yeah. You're good, brother. We're going to get through this shit. It's the dumbest shit ever, bro. I can't make it make sense, Shipper. The last great phone I had was a Samsung. I can't even remember what number it was, but it had the headphone jack. It had upgradable memory. It had a removable battery. Perfect phone. And you can get that, uh, you can get the USB shit, but there's always interference. If I plug it in right now, you're going to tell me it sounds like shit. Like, I haven't found one that doesn't cause some sort of static or some sort of interference. Oh, phones don't have headphone jacks no more? Nah, bro. Dumbest shit ever.
they want to sell you their shitty fucking wireless earbuds. They're all ass, bro. Galaxy Buds, AirPods, they're all ass. Unless you're just listening to music or just making a phone call or something. That might have been the one, the S9 or the S10 was, I think, was the last one that had the, the jack and the upgradable yeah. memory, upgradable storage. I know, there's a company called, uh, what is it, uh, OnePlus, Nord OnePlus. They still have uh, headphone jacks. And the phones are actually good. But I used to just have extra batteries on me. Like, you, know, you didn't, never ran, never worried about running out. You ran oh, out yes. of batteries, you just pop in a fresh battery. Yep, I had a Samsung then. My old Samsung battery fit in the new one. I was like, wow. I kept it. I used to carry it around. Bonus. It was like when you get a gun and your old clip fits. Yep. That was great. You can actually still change the batteries, but you have to freaking take the phone apart. <laughs> I was wondering why they sell re batteries. I'm like, what? Which phone has a battery? You have to take the phone apart. Let's pick up on the meme, the uh, war memes. See if they all rugged by now. One minute ago, the supreme leader of Israel dropped. It's up about 12%. And then there's an Osama Ben Iranian that's up 888%. Only been active for two minutes. Make love, not war is up 50%. People aren't degening as hard as they usually do, though. Oh, 43 seconds ago. What is this? Toasty guy. Ticker Toasty, up 34,000% in 43 seconds. Was this a pre-sale? This had to be a pre-sale. Holy shit. Nah. There's only 48 holders, $49,000 in liquidity. This had to be a pre-sale. Is it called Toasty Guy? Yeah. What the fuck? Toasty Guy. Ticker Toasty.
I don't think we should let people who uh, vote on shitcoin, I mean, uh, gamble on shitcoins vote. Uh, no war is up 117,000%. War is up 1,493%. <laughs> so far, more people are voting war. Peace is down 52%. Just to give you an idea of who we're fucking with here. World War Three with hat is up 379%. I gotta get off of this. <laughs> World War Three with hat. I'm dead. Yeah, the official word is that we're fully committed to support the survival of Israel. Was the last word from the U.S. front? Like Powell saying, he's fully committed to getting the two percent. A lot of lag on these platforms. This Mexi is saying, I'm just trying to transfer money from futures to spot. And it's never said standby is, is 
it's in progress. I'm like, what? It's like automatic. You must be getting a lot of business tonight. What's happening, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, he and she is. How are you guys doing? What's doing up? Good. What's going on? So, I'm going to update you a little bit more if you're here, if you're watching my charts. Uh, for Bitcoin, I already pre drew these drops and ranges before we were even under 67K earlier today. So, let me expand on that thought process real quick. Zoom out the Bitcoin chart. Uh, I'll write the word Bitcoin so you know this is Bitcoin. So let's just see how these blocks go. Uh, did we drop down into the green block? We did earlier. How far did Bitcoin's foot enter the green block that I had pre-drawn before the 67K drop down $6,000? Just a little bit. It was on the very top margin. It went to 60,676. Better buys have been closer to 58K. Um, from the bottom of that green block, it was up about 3%. So 3% is not really a lot. 
and it fell down like the first tenth of the block. So this would have been a good scalp, a good bite inside this block. Uh, these blocks were drawn. Rewind.